work is assigned, how are you going to start in the SAP system? What will you do if in implementation projects? Okay, so the people who are joining mostly with the three years or two years of experience or pressures, these are all people, they don't keep you mostly into the implementation alone. Okay, most 60% of cases, they don't give you implementation. They will keep you in a support or something. If they keep you in implementation, there will be at least one or two other consultants will be there along with you. Okay, so how the work is going to start? So once you join, you got the KT about the uh, overall business process and um, tools which you are going to use. During this process of time, they will create an SAP user ID for you. Okay, and they will share you the, the IP details. Okay, IP details like uh, development, what are the IP details? Like if you see uh, the SAP IDAS or any icon where you can see that, right? Okay, IP details, system ID, the details will be sent to you along with the initial password. So then you have to log in and we have to check the authorizations and all. So you will verify which is development system. In development, you will have it two. One is golden client where you do the configuration. Second one is the testing client where you do the unit testing, the quality where you perform the system integration testing. And then the production where you don't have any access to make changes to material or PO anything just mostly the display access which will be used to analyze if you get any incidents okay so these differences you need to understand and accordingly you have to make respective changes or creating okay by mistake you should never create a material or purchase order in production 99% of cases they will not give you access but for example by default if you have access by mistake or something never create the transactional or master data in production system mostly we don't maintain we have to ask for example you got an issue okay the material um, is blocked for procurement or any kind of issue or raised by user then you have verified that yes the material has has a indicator some material status is given to block for procurement for a certain point of time you have to ask business please check it your purchasing head or the team why did they block this material for procurement if the requirement is already completed please ask them to remove it so you have to guide them to remove but you don't go and change the status yes it is resolved you go and proceed so in production master data or transaction data changes should not be done by the consultant okay until there is a special cases where you uh, you have to do in a different way okay so generic statement what i can say you should not do any master data or transaction data changes in sap so how we are going to start in sap so first of all you have to understand the differences between different systems okay and mostly i suggest you people to keep three different colors maybe red color we will have some maroon or red color right in sap screen keep it for production as a danger and quality you can keep it some violet or something and uh, development you can keep it green whatever that's your choice so by mistake those things can be avoided and always whenever you make any uh, major things and anything you always see at the right hand side bottom to see the respective uh, system whether it is a quality or a development or production where you are so how to start it yes if you get an incident okay uh, business says that in the production when they're creating the po they got an issue then uh, you can go to the production login and verify okay what details they're creating those things can be have okay 